what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. We're getting all his opinions back just on the commercial break, and we're back with nationally syndicated film critic Ryan J, who is fresh off a trip to Los Angeles for the Critics' Choice Awards. I got to see you on TV. Uh, How was yes, it? I did. That's so meta, because I think we're all on TV right now. What? Right? Uh, Are no. we not? Uh -uh. Uh, surprise! We're in everybody's living room! <laughs> <laughs> the Critics' Choice Awards were fantastic this year. It was so much fun, and I had a dream come true because after attending the red carpet, I went inside and sat with the table for The Greatest Showman. Oh, your favorite show. Yeah, it is. It's my favorite movie playing right now. If you haven't seen it, you must. I'm there with Benj Pasek and Justin Paul and their significant others. They are the songwriters of The Greatest Showman. They also did Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. They did Dogfight. They are the lyricists of La La Land. My uh, guest for the evening was Aaron Harburg, my producing partner. And at the table, too, on, uh, on the right there is Kiala Settle, who is the bearded lady. And she brought with her Shoshana Bean is her plus one, who was the first Alphaba replacement after Adina Menzel in Broadway on Wicked. <laughs> what? And I died. I was like, That's oh. so cool. I was like, yeah, of all the people to just like randomly be at my table, Shoshana <laughs> Bean, who I saw go on in her first performance because I was at Adina's last performance where she was injured and Shoshana went on and it was like, what? And she's like my favorite Alphaba, so I freaked out. It was amazing. It was amazing. What was the weather like this year? Because I remember it was freezing last year and everybody was looking for a yes. coat and something to warm up. It was fantastic. It was. was it? Uh, yeah, the first time, because I think every year, you know, we've all been, and it's like, it's either too hot or too cold and everything. I was happy. I was in velvet, and I was comfortable, <laughs> and it was perfect. That's Love awesome. It. Yeah. Sounds That's like great. a total blast. It was great. Well, here's the deal. A lot of us want to see a lot of the movies that are up for awards mm -hmm. or ones that are coming out now. So mm -hmm. let's talk about some that are coming out this weekend, including this first one, which is Phantom Thread. This is rated R. It is, and it's one of the best films of last year that's finally opening in theaters today. Gotcha. And it stars Daniel Day-Lewis in his sort of swan song. He announced he's retiring from acting, so this is his final performance. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I saw previews of this. It's really good. It looks intriguing. It is very intriguing. It's a really good drama. It's written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, who previously worked with Day-Lewis on There Will Be Blood. Okay. And, you know, Daniel's won three Oscars. He's one of the finest living actors. And so it's kind of sad and bittersweet that he's ending, but this is a good movie to go out on. All right. Cool. What's the, the pace of this? Looks a little slow. Well, it is it is slow, but what's interesting is it's slightly over two hours long, but because it moves so well, it's mesmerizing and it's so suspenseful, even though it's kind of a simple and quiet drama, it feels like it's only 90 minutes long. It doesn't feel long. It doesn't feel slow while you're watching it. It's a fictional account of an eccentric fashion designer, and he has a sort of borderline, of, like emotionally abusive relationship with the women in his life, and yet they love him and they need him and he needs them and they care about him, and it's a very, very sort of intoxicating look into his crazy world. That's mm. wild. How did you feel about the design and the score? The design is insane. I mean, look just look at, at it. The costumes are exquisite. <laughs> the production design is gorgeous. You kind of wish you could walk through these sets and try on some of these clothes. And the score elevates the entire cinematic experience. It's one of the most interesting scores, but it doesn't stand out. It's subtle and it just works so well. It's a, an incredible, incredible score. Does a performance like this earn him an award as his swan song? I think he will be nominated. He has been getting nominated, you know, the Golden Globes yeah. and the Critics' Choice or stuff like that so it's like he's um He's, uh, he's on the radar for the Oscar, but I don't okay. know if he'll, he's the front runner this year. Gotcha. But see it. It's see definitely it. one to see. Yeah, right. it's, it's a beautiful movie. And it looks beautiful. It's really good. It's rated R, but for a drama that just moves really well. You mm. know? I like that. What about 12 Strong? 12 Strong is the true story of the first American troops to go into Afghanistan right after 9-11 to hunt down the Taliban. And it was a very secretive op, so like we didn't know about it at the time or even many years later, and now it's been exposed. And this movie recognizes their great contribution and their incredible bravery and victory on the field and you know brings the cinematic adaptation of it yeah I only recognize one of those faces who uh, how's Chris the Hemsworth yeah. right yeah, Thor. Yeah. <laughs> short-haired Thor over there you also have Michael Shannon who is recently in uh, the shape of water and yeah. so good pl often playing a villain here he's a good guy part of the ensemble with Michael Pena too and they're a very nice ensemble but sadly the script really waters it down these are real-life heroes who deserve an amazing adaptation of their incredible true story but the script script waters it down to very one-dimensional characters. There's literally a moment in the film where before about murdering a terrorist, they're like, wait, let's get this war started. And it's like, you know they didn't say, it sounds like, you know when you're watching uh, uh, lawyer shows with, a, with yeah. an actual attorney or a, a cop show or something, and you and like they're like, that's not what it's actually like in the field, how it is. Right. Like, I guarantee you nothing you hear in this movie is what it's actually like, Gotcha. you know, over there. 
Yeah, that's interesting. Do you still say see it? I say skip it because oh. it really does a disservice to these guys. The score is very distracting and, and Independence Day like bolting the whole time and it just, these guys deserve a much better movie than this. It's not a good film. I like that review. What about your, I do too. Mm -hmm. What about your giveaway? The Commuter, which is in theaters now, which I just finally saw. It's so good. It's Liam Neeson's new action film, and it's honestly better than any Taken movie. I was Love so him. surprised by this movie. It's so good. It's great action. It's innovative action. You'll see things in the fight scenes you've never seen done before. Some really creative things will get your heart oh, racing. Oh, yeah, this is the one on the boss on the where he's given like, a train, train, and he's yeah, given a mission. So assignment. Cool. Like, yeah. So, yeah. So the Commuter is one to see in the theater, but also if okay. you want to enter to win some giveaway, I've got a t-shirt, hats, some really cool Commuter um, keychain earbuds that you, know, you can oh, use on cool. your Commuter. Full size movie posters, mini movie posters. How do so people win? Go to my website. You got to answer a clever question about your own commute at Ooh. ryanjreviews.com. I like that. That's you can cool. win some commuter swag. Yeah. It's fantastic. You can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter for full movie reviews. Check out his website, ryanjreviews.com. Always Trying? great to see you. You look too. Fantastic. Thanks so much, you too. Yeah.